to fight the Black Wind. Is that an unfortunate title? Well, if you're from the land of Benny Hill, it certainly is. This is a hardback novella from Fantasy Flight Games, set in their Arkham Files universe. It stars investigator Carolyn Fern, who has appeared in a number of Arkham Files games and books. It is just under 9 inches by 6 inches by 6 sixteenths. And for size comparison, here are some other Asmodee products to give you a better idea. This is part of a series of five books that began releasing in October 2017. It is written by Jennifer Brozek. Jennifer is a prolific author and editor of tie-in fiction and non-fiction gaming books, as well as RPG supplements, including many recognised names like Battletech and Shadowrun, including the Rogue Academy Young Adult series. She has been nominated for more awards than we've ever heard of, including multiple Bram Stoker awards, a Scribe, a Raven, a Hugo, a Silver Any, and more. She has a short story catalogue that is enough to give even the most hardy of Shoggoths a hernia, and was a regular contributor to Campaign Magazine. No, not the real one, but the D20 one. Being no stranger to Lovecraft, she edited the anthology A Secret Guide to Fighting Elder Gods, as well as the steaming Cthulhu Rotica Collect- What? Is that a real thing? Oh, quick, fade to black. We're so getting demonetised. This was supposed to be a family show! This is the same format as its companion volume, so you'll get some very bland pages and then a burst of colour at the back. Despite the high price, this book has mostly average paper stock, with no art for the flyleaf or cover linings or ribbon to serve as a page marker. The binding looks to be glued and stitched. You won't have any problem opening it all the way, and eventually it will lay flat. This volume begins with a half page teaser to whet your appetite. Then the credits and title page follow, and on to a cool looking one page summary of the world of Arkham Files that really sets the scene for the 1920s, and Arkham in general with all its supernatural shadows. The main story is 14 chapters and an epilogue for a total of 108 pages before a single page about the author. This is the same length as The Deep Gate, and longer than the other three which are 96 pages. None of the chapters have names, and there is no table of contents. Finally, there are a generous 15 pages of full colour in-character documents to evoke the setting and help you follow along with the mystery. Disappointingly, 12 pages are a diary with only the tiniest amount of illustration. This could and should have been just plain text, and it is disappointing to see that this opportunity was criminally underused. Ire of the Void also suffers this to an extent, but not quite as badly. Even the full colour advert at the back has had more thought put into it. As we have seen from previous testing, these hardbacks are definitely robust, but don't go crazy. This product was released in the FFG web store and had a retail release as well. As it has an ISBN number, your local bookshop should be able to order it, which is great as the international postage for these things is huge. These items do go out of print very quickly, so you may need to shop around or be patient. FFG used to offer reprint status information on the upcoming tab of their website, but this feature has now been discontinued. If you just want the story, you can save a huge amount of money by purchasing digitally from Amazon for your Kindle or drive through fiction.com for various formats. Note that any digital version will not come with the full colour lovely illustrations. The reason most of you will be interested in this book is that it comes with promo cards for Arkham Horror the Card Game, as foretold by this little sticker here. At the back, you get a complete pack of Carolyn Fern Investigator cards contained within a Ziploc bag, which we may make a separate video about, but so you don't all freak out and push the dislike button, here is a preview. You get an alternative art version of her Investigator card, and also the mini card as well as replacement signature bonus and signature weakness. If you don't know how replacement cards work, there is a handy rules insert, or you could just watch our amazing explanation in tutorial number 24. Carolyn was released in the Circle Undone Deluxe Box, so like Roland and Jenny, both her regular and replacement signatures are available. That concludes our look at the original five novellas. In 2020, a sixth novel, The Blood of Balshandor, is due to arrive.